In this video, we're going to take a look at the RIP command inside of the sheet metal environment. Here I have the RIP IPT from our working files directory, and I have a lofted flange created that goes from a rectangular shape down to a more circular shape. The circular shape is actually a 20-sided polygon here used for this lofted flange. Now, the problem with what I have currently is I cannot open it up. I can't flatten this out because there's no open side to this. I need to generate that open side by using a RIP command. So I'm going to begin by looking at the RIP tool first in the Modify panel. Here you can see it asks for certain different options. I can do a single point, a point-to-point -point RIP, or a face extents. So the face extents would actually rip off an entire face. You can see that when I go down and choose that, I pick an entire face to rip off. Not exactly what I want to do here. If I do a point-to-point -point RIP, I need to pick the RIP face and then a starting point and an ending point. Now here you can see I can grab this point here, it grabs the midpoint, that's fine. If you want to specify a more precise start point and end point, you might have to actually add a work point to your model. Now here I don't want that face to rip, I want this face over here. I'm going to choose a starting point on that edge there, and the end point will be straight across on the back side. So as I zoom in, you can see that it's going to create a rip there based on my gap size value. I'm going to go ahead and accept this gap size value for that and say OK. That essentially will rip my metal, and then when I try to create the flat pattern for it, it actually will give me a valid result. There I have it. If I go back to the folded state here, just to take along this uh, mentality of design here a little bit further, maybe I want to create a little bit of a lap seam to go over that. And I'm going to use a little bit of a trick here using the old method of a flange. So I'm going to start my flange command, pick my flange here, and change it to zero. Now when I choose the old method, it actually creates a little bit of a loop over there for me on the way that unfolds. And I want this flange to be just 10. I want this flange to be 10 in order to create a very simple lap going over the top of that. There we go. Now as you can see, it looks like that material is merging together. So when I try to go to the flat pattern, you would think that it would not unfold. But because it has this method of old method, the selection in the flange tool for that, it will flatten out still just fine. So I'll go back to my folded state there, and I can see that I've been able to rip that open, as well as to create a lap over there. So maybe I need to weld that or fasten it another way. So this has been a look at the rip tool, as well as some additional settings you can perform with the flange to help do something right after the rip command, if you were.